My name is uh, Father Dan Spexarth, and I'd like to share just a few thoughts uh, with you on the 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time. As you know, we've been uh, discussing uh, John chapter 6. This particular Sunday will be the third of our uh, four-part series on John chapter 6. It's interesting that uh, in this particular passage, the the uh, Jews ask the question, how? How can Jesus give us his, his flesh to eat? Uh, it's interesting because uh, Jesus almost never uh, answers or gives a direct answer to a question. If you read the Gospels from cover to cover, uh, people will will ask him questions, and he never never seems to directly answer. Uh, it, it reminds me of the one time that I was actually picked to uh, to ask a question at a town hall meeting. I worked very carefully uh, posing my question. I, I wrote it very specifically and, and articulated, articulated it, I thought, uh, uh, very well. And the speaker, uh, he answered, he talked for 15 minutes, but I thought to myself, he, he really never answered the question. And so this, 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 these Jews, they ask, how can he give us this bread from heaven? How can he give us uh, uh, my flesh for the life of the world? And, and Jesus, he never answers. And, and the important thing for us is to understand that, that Jesus doesn't always answer questions. Uh, when we come to prayer, we have our, our big long list of questions. Uh, we say, Jesus, how can I, how can I be successful in this situation? Or how can I go on after the, the death of, of someone who is very close to me? Or how can I do this? Or how can I do that? And it, it would seem that Jesus is not so much interested in our questions as he is in our love. And so it's, it's, it's like we need more, we need less how and more trust. Uh, trust that, that, that God loves us and, and that he will provide for us. Uh, we simply place ourselves uh, into his hands. And so we believe, we believe that, that this truly is Jesus uh, in the Eucharist. Uh, not necessarily knowing how it happens, the church explains to us, uh, the doctrine of transubstantiation, but it's not so important to me that we know how it happens, but that it happens, that this truly is uh, the bread of life uh, for a person to eat and never to die. Uh, and so less questions, less how, and more trust uh, that Jesus truly is present in this Eucharist. Thank you.